Hi, welcome to this video on how to populate the HR schema. To begin, we need to log in by clicking on the database icon. So click on this. Click on the Application Express button to log on. The username will be System. Password will be the password that was set when the database was installed. There you go, we get the screen. We've already created an account, uh, Application Express account in the previous video, so we can log in with that. So it says here, once create, if you've got an account, you can log in here or log in here. So we click on this. There you go, that's the workspace name and that's the username I created in the last video. I'll put the password in to log on and click login. Excellent. We're in the workspace. That's my username, SQL Will Oracle. That's the logout page. So we need to click on this icon here, Application Builder. Click on that. And click Create. Make sure the database option is checked. Click Next. Make sure the From Scratch is checked. Click Next. You can accept this name or create one yourself. I will... I'll leave this one. I'll just accept the name that's there. You can leave this or create one. I'll change this to 007. Okay, there you go. And that's the schema, HR. I'll click Next. The pages here, these tabs, they are descriptions here that tells you what each one of them does. So I'll be clicking on this tabular form to add the tables. It tells you here, tabular form creates a form to perform update, insert, and delete operations on multiple rows in a database table. So these are the functions we will need to perform with SQL. So I'll be selecting, I've selected that option. So we'll click on this up arrow to add the database tables. Click on that. There are seven of them. So we'll click each one to add. Click the first one and click add page. And there you go. That's the countries table added. Click the next one and click departments click on that click add page that's the next one added on we do the same for the others employees add page and the next one jobs add page and the next one job history add page the next locations add page one more regions add page all these seven tables have now, now been added when done we click on create there you go when it's created you get um, a message here that says you have cre requested to create an application with the following attributes Please confirm your selections. Application is 7, 007, they drop the 00. The name of the application, the schema, HR, default language, English. Tabs, one level of tabs, default authentication. It tells you how you're going to log on via that. The theme is standard. You got the option to save this definition as a design for reuse. I'll leave that option. I'll just click create. Okay, there you go. That's the application has been created. So these are the tables for the application. Seven of them. Countries, departments, employees, jobs, job history, locations, regions, and login. 
this really is not a table, not part of your table, just a login key, but these the other ones are. So the seven tables are what we're going to be using later with our SQL. So we're going to be using SQL to interrogate these tables and play around with different types of data. It's going to be really exciting. Now that we've got the application set up, in the next video we're going to be running the application and having a look at the data within that application. Thanks again for watching this video and bye for now.